Tiger King star Joe Exotic has been unexpectedly transferred to a medical prison in North Carolina. Earlier this month, the 58-year-old, real name Joseph Maldonado Passage, revealed he had been diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. His attorney John Phillips confirmed Joe had been transferred by private plane from a facility in Fort Worth, Texas to a federal medical center in Butner last week. He was due to be taken to the medical prison later this month, and Phillips revealed Joe has been undergoing treatment for a host of issues. He is one of the most passionate, full of life, clients I have ever had the pleasure of representing, he said in a statement on Saturday, as he revealed the last time he spoke to Joe was on November 1st. Joe informed me that his fears were true. He had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. As noted in Joe's recent statements, he has been undergoing medical treatment and tests for a host of issues, Phillips added. The former exotic animal park owner shot to fame in 2020 after being featured in the hit Netflix documentary series Tiger King. That same year, he was sentenced to 22 years in prison for allegedly trying to hire two men to kill rival and animal rights activist Carol Baskin, and a recent court ruling determined that he be given a new sentence following an appeal. Joe's attorney said the star was undergoing further testing after a screening for prostate cancer found two cancerous areas. Joe announced the devastating news he had been diagnosed with cancer in a brave post on Instagram earlier this month, and took aim at his longtime rival Carol as he shared his prognosis. Everyone, it is with a sad face that I have to tell you the doctors called me in today to break the news that my prostate biopsy came back with an aggressive cancer, I am still waiting on the results from mother test, sick, as well, he wrote. Right now I don't want anyone's pity and I'm sure Carol will have her own party over this," he fired. In 2020, his attorneys formally requested a pardon to correct the injustices he has experienced and to have the opportunity to return to providing meaningful contributions to his community. They hoped former President Donald Trump would have pardoned Joe during his final months in the White House, but sadly, his plea was ignored, 